Hello and welcome, so let's play King Arthur Knight's Tale. So this is a tactical turn-based RPG with like a medieval dark theme to it. I love these kind of games. Caught by a straight way, so I was like, I'm going to play this. So let's start a new campaign. So, new campaign, classic mode. You can save or load progress between missions. Roguelike mode. Your progress is automatically saved. Every choice and death is permanent. Okay, let's go for that one. Name a new save. Let's call it... Mefu. Quite a strong original name, that one. Okay. Oh, God, look at him. Very gruesome looking. He needs to use some moisturizer on his face. <laughs> oh, it begins. Wake up, night. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. Ooh. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king. You have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burn and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. You have killed King Arthur and with his dying breath he struck you down. You both die, and yet, you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, Sir Richard. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Sir Mordred, living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him, but I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. I've set this dread knight on a dark path, and for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis, and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible, after all. Almost killed the king, who cannot be killed. And that's how the nightmare began. Well then, that was a pretty epic opener. Money well spent already. <laughs> so let's have a look. Objective, leave the secret sanctuary, face it controls, and a portrait of Sir Mordred. Uh, damage you can take before dying, so 20 HP, and damage you can take before taking vitality damage. 42. I guess we'll find out what that is in a sec. Basic controls, let's have a look. So basic controls, left click to select a hero or to choose an active skill and to use it and interact with objects in the world. Use the middle mouse button to rotate the camera. Right click to move around. This is cool. Really cool. Really well polished, actually. Right, so, okay, so I can actually move WASD. They don't tell me how to do that, but I'm doing it. And I can move with the mouse, maybe? Yep, so I can move with mouse or WASD. Let's do mouse. A bit more lazy, isn't it? I can use my other hand for more important matters like scratching my face. Oh, and clicking on a statue. Hello, statue. Shrine of the Lady. This looks like an ancient hidden shrine dedicated to powers that rule all the waters. The engravings on the surface de 
depict various scenes of healing and maybe a ritual where a sword-wielding warrior rises from a slab of black stone under the watchful eye of the mysterious woman clad in robes. The stone is warm to the touch and a flicker of strange sensation prickles the skin. Magic, maybe? Maybe it is. A bit of lore there. Anything else we can do in the room? No. Let's go for the door. The door! The door! Oh shit. Wait! Who the hell are you? Uh, no one? I'm here to teach you some manners, lad. Time to oh. earn your share of the dungeon. glory nights. Objective, kill the guard. Poor guard, he's just minding his own business. Right, so, here we go. Basic fights. Characters use action points, AP, to act in combat, like moving and activating skills. It refills at the start of every turn. Around the selected character, you can see a highlighted area is that character's movement range. It determines the maximum distance that character can move within with their current AP. When you select a skill, the highlighted area changes both in shape and in color. This is the attack range, which determines the maximum distance the character can reach with that skill. Wow, that's quite a big distance, that. Damn, okay. Right, so I can move here. I'm guessing this is like a sprint action. So if I move there, I lose one of my APs. Well, how much AP do I have? Oh yeah, I can see it. Okay, this is cool. So that's two. That'd be three. That's still three. That'd be four. And what's this? Why is he gonna hit me there? Is that like an overwatch attack or something? Like some sort of attack of opportunity maybe? Not sure what kind of rule set this game uses. So it's quite interesting. Right, so what abilities do I have? I've got Strike, deals 6 to 8 damage. Deals 100% damage to an adjacent enemy. AP cost is free. Ooh, this is very similar to, uh, what's it called? Divinity, Original Sin 2. Cast Stigma causes 20 vulnerability to a target for 1 turns. Cooldown 2 turns, range 8, AP cost 2. Is that worth doing? It's probably not worth doing because I don't have a party, so I only actually get a tiny bit of use out of that. But we'll see. So let's go for a strike. So I can strike within this tile range here, this blue outer tile range. So let's cancel that if we can. Can I cancel that? Escape. Hmm. Uh, so let's move here. Now we're within the tile range. Let's rotate the camera. Ooh, use WSD as well. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can. This is really cool. So let's go for a strike. How much HP is this guy? He's got 10 HP, so let's strike him. Boom! I can't strike again, and I couldn't do that anyway, so let's see what else can I do. Got a healing potion, heals of 50% HP, AP cost 1. Uh, what's this? Armor reduces any damage taken, but your armor value is lowered by a percentage of the damage. Protection against frontal damage, protection against physical attacks, protection against magical attacks. How many physical injuries can be negated to... How many curses can be negated too? Okay, that's a weird mechanic. Overwatch. Select an area and consume all remaining AP. When an enemy enters the selected area next turn, immediately execute one attack for each free AP consumed. Requires at least three AP to use. That's interesting. So it's got a nice like, attack of opportunity mechanic, I guess. Reserve. Conserve all remaining AP to save some for the next turn. The hero will get one to two to three bonus AP for one free six AP reserved. So how does that work out? Is that like half? So if I save one, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much half in a way, apart from the free. Okay. And then end turn. End turn, all heroes will reserve their remaining AP. So I've got one AP, end turn. I should go on the next thing. I blocked it. Right. Uh, let's just kill him. Strike. So walking. He's out of there. Six damage. Look at that. Damn, that felt good. But where are yeah. I thought that dying can change a man, but I might be wrong. Hey, hey you are who's wrong. there? I can hear you. Let me out. <laughs> right, so let's have a look. Can I put the map? Yes, I can. Explore the prison. Let's go. We need to find thing? some loot. Where's the loot at? Any loot in here? Any loot in? Oh, a low loot. 36 gold, don't mind if I do. Loot. During your adventures, you may gather loot from various locations. However, you can only equip to manage your loot between missions on the adventure map. Okay. Open the door, whoever you are. Help me, and I will help you. 
Uh, hang on a sec, friend. Let me just look for loot. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Well, well, well. Sir Kay, King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward. An honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Whoa, that BM. Sir Mordred, the scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. Wow, he's got a mouth on him. Locked up in a cage, whimpering, just as I remember you, Kay. What the hell is going on here? Calm down and talk to me. I'm gonna go for Top Bob. Are you real? <laughs> or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? <laughs> Can't say I do, no, and yet here you are speak. You're quite upset about dying, yet you seem to be very much alive. How so? Top Bob. Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. You promised me help if I set you free. How about that? What is this wretched place anyway? So you, a knight of the round table, ended up here behind locks. Pitiful. Uh, let's have a look. I've already told you. Avalon. The island of the fallen knights. And this is Castle Camelot. What? This hovel is Camelot? If you're playing tricks with me, I'll break your bones. This is our castle. <laughs> what yes. the hell? Not the one that you remember, though. Um, let's see what this one says. Some of us are still waging a war. I fought and have been betrayed. You are familiar with betrayal, aren't you? No, no, I'm not. Trust was always your weakness, Kay. And what is yours? Your bloodlust? Your savagery? <laughs> Clear in silence. Yes, I thought so. You think you're strong enough to fight the taint on this island? All right, let's set him free. I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. Dot, dot, dot. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Open the door. The door. Right, Sir Kay, with your helmet on and your portrait already. <laughs> uh, you know, that's pretty cool that you got a helmet on and the portrait, but not in the game. Where are you getting this helmet from, Sir Kay? Let's go down. Great. That's my armor. Ah, there we go. We found the helmet. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? <laughs> we must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. I'm beginning to like this, Mordred. He has a strong character. Let's open up the door. Bang on the door. Sir Kay must survive. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this. What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! No way out without a fight. <laughs> Surprise, Mother Ducker! Ooh, new tutorial. Orientation. Character orientation has a huge impact in combat. You can protect your characters by right clicking on them and dragging. A character with a shield will take reduced frontal damage. However, characters attacked from behind will take more damage. So it's got like a backstab mechanic in the game. Right, so, let's uh, have a look then. Is this a backstab? Strike! Oh my god, that's a backstab alright. So let's cast Stigma on this guy. So Sir K can follow up. Death awaits. So do that. Uh, and turn... Nope. I've got another character now. I have another character, so Sir K has Strike, deals 100% damage to an adjacent enemy. He does a lot more damage than Mordred does because he's got a two-handed weapon. Let me double check. Yeah, he does a lot more damage. So he does 6 to 8 and Sir K does 7 to 10. He also has another ability called Cleave. Deals 75% damage to multiple adjacent enemies in a continuous free grid streak. Ah, okay, so it lights up. That's cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's move into position and see if we can kill this guy. Do we even have enough? See. Strike! Oh my god! He's out of there! I'm not even <laughs> One shot! Breath. One shot! Nice, okay, let's carry on. Uh, in here? Nope. In here? Nope. Come on, guys, where's the loot at? Give me the loot! Let's open up this door. Ooh, who's that guy? And he's got Sir some friends. Kay, you are really persistent. 
But I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. <laughs> he says something so really cute. heroic. And then he goes and hides behind Mordred. It's like, <laughs> let's fight, but I'll hide behind Mordred. So, Overwatch. Overwatch. With remaining AP, you can use Overwatch to end a character turn with an extra effect and a chosen orientation. Select an area and consume all remaining AP. When an enemy enters the selected area next turn, immediately execute a free attack. That's cool. Reserve. Consumes all remaining AP to save some for the next turn. The hero will get 1, 2, 3 bonus AP for 1, 3, 6 AP reserved. Okay. So let's uh, go and kill one of these guys, I guess. Let's go here. Smack him. And it's okay. Can you move anywhere? No. Okay, I'll put you there. I'll make you... Ooh, can I orientate you as well? Yes, I can. So I'll face you that way. And then I will put you on Overwatch to guard this way as well. So, end turn. Oh, look at him blocking. He's a beast. <gasps> oh my god, he's out of there. Look at that. One shot. It's okay, he's really strong. Okay, so let's use Mordred to finish off this guy. And then, might as well strike you. Should I debuff you first? Yeah, I should actually. Yeah, I'll debuff him first. Then strike him. Get rid of some of that block and armor. And use Sir K to move over to here. Oh, I could even go for a flank there. Nah, it probably wasn't worth it. A strike. Ooh, big boy damage. N10. Okay, let's finish him off. Strike. Strike again. Sir K, going for the strike. Boom, show you all can. <laughs> that fatality though. Anything in here? Any loot? Mm, nope. No loot in there. Come on, What's give this? me some Ooh. Beautiful loot. Let's open this chest. Sigil for heavy armor. Sigil for heavy armor. Anything else in here? 67 gold. That's a good find, that one. A beautiful find. Let's go upstairs. Careful. It's quite a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. Damn right. The tutorial, predictable battle. Explore the area before battle rewards you with information. The more deployable areas you discover, the more tactical options you will have at the beginning of combat. You select any area you discovered for deployment. Okay. So if I walk up this way, I'll stay out these little red tiles, I guess, to stop the combat from starting. Let's head up here. Oh, shit. No way out without a fight. Uh, deploy your heroes. Select your heroes one by one, then place them inside the green area with the right mouse button. Deploy areas of red zones on the map directly before special combat encounters. Entering such zone allow the characters to choose their initial positions. The before battle starts. <laughs> this text talks how I normally speak anyway, so I don't think that's a typo for me. <laughs> Select your heroes one by one. Then place them on the onto the green area by the left click. Okay, so ah, okay, so I can position them in these green areas here. Let's see what they got. So they got like armored guy, guy with shield, and two archers. Hmm. Or crossbow men, should I say? This is actually quite a good position. I'm right on their flank already, so I'm actually gonna hold this and finish. So let's grab Mordred. Can you get close enough to hit that? No, you can't. I'm actually just going to orientate them Time to both face to this way. The and maybe put Special K there. Special K. <laughs> That's a cereal, isn't it? Special K. Kellogg's. Um, yeah, I might put him behind cover. There we go. And then end turn. Yes. Reserve a lot of AP. Let them come to me a bit. See if we can line of sight them a bit as well. Nice. Okay, that worked out really nicely. So now I'm gonna walk this guy up to here, so he blocks the path and kills this. Hopefully, so smash. I'll reserve that AP Ready to fight. and move Sir K, or should I say Special K, over to here and strike him down. Okay, you can actually Overwatch, can't you? 
Yeah, I'll watch here. Uh, maybe I should have done that with Special K actually, because he hits harder. But anyway, end turn. Your head is mine. Oh, nice. Five damage. That's not too bad. Sweet. So you should be able to finish that off. Bam. I'll walk up to here. And I will overwatch there. I'll move him up. And put him also in overwatch there. So... Now when he walks in, he should get absolutely destroyed. End turn. Oh, <laughs> he's out of there. Damn, that mechanic's pretty strong. That's pretty damn strong. Let's move Mordred up here. Strike this down. And then Ready it's okay up there again. And strike this guy down. Boof! See you later. What master do these soldiers serve anyway? Really crap one. That would be Sir Tua. They're useless. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. <laughs> oh god, what is voice this thing? Throne room. So you are back as well, traitor. You probably don't remember me. He's like a walking zombie knight warrior guard thing. I don't even care who you are. I wish I knew what you are. I'm gonna go for the bot one. I am just a walking corpse cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. And do you have a name? Proud words from a walking nameless corpse. Bot one. He is... He was... Sir Tuellen. A once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. Is King Arthur here with you, walking corpse? What are you doing, Camelot? Out of curiosity, are your sons such ugly monstrosities like you? It's gotta be the bottom one. That's beautiful. My sons are both full of life and hatred for each other. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Whatever is awaiting for me here, I must face it alone. Balin and Balin are seeking their own fates now. Super original names there. Just as I do. Destined to survive anything. What are you doing in Camelot? I fell in battle like we all did. But instead of gaining new life in legendary Avalon, I've returned as a lost one. All I hear is a pitiful whimper and not the answers I need. I might be just as lost as you are. What are you even talking about? Top one. Let me rephrase it, traitor. Camelot is a sacred place reserved for the once and future king. That is the law. But I spit on the laws of the Lady of the Lake. That's rude. Clever man, this is a great way to make an ancient enchantress very pissed. Do you think it's wise to infuriate the Lady of this land? Top one. I'm not afraid of her. Lost ones can't perish. This is our curse and blessing. Is King Arthur here with you, walking corpse? He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. He can't be dead, otherwise I wouldn't be here. So what? Don't waste my time. Yeah. In the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Dot, dot, dot. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of midnight. Spare me the poetic rubbish. Tell me where he is and I'll let you live, or whatever you call this existence. So be him, I love it. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. Is that a challenge? We'll see. Worst case is that you'll keep on lamenting after I take your head. Oh, it's got a battle symbol. Let's go. Let's fight. Take them one by one. Yeah, okay. They got quite a bit there. So the map it says there's four of them. So okay, must survive. Kill Sir Tawilin. Tawilin, it's walking corpse guy. So we've got an archer there. He's really far away though. So I'm actually just going to go for the big boy first, I think. Just to stop his damage output. I think he's going to hit like a truck. 
So let's <clears throat> run you over to here. I am ready. You can move there as well, can't you? That's cool. Mm. Let's run you over here as well. And then, and then, let's smack you. My blade. And smack you again. Which way should I face? Can I, can I even turn you? I'm gonna change your orientation, there we go. Yeah, okay, end turn. Hope for the best. Hopefully he doesn't get too destroyed in the back. I am injured. Ah, backstab! Bastard! Okay, let's see if we can finish this guy off. It's okay. Ooh, I can cleave this. Yeah, let's do it. Cleave! And then let's kill... Yeah, let's kill you. Oof. I'll change the orientation that way. Because there's two here now. And just the one there. So, in turn. Oh, don't end turn, that's bad. I'm so used to other games to with the ending the on one character, not just all of them. Right, uh, if I go here and start killing you, that should be a good play. So smack, smack, and he should be turned next turn. Next turn, he should be dead, I mean. Not turned, next turn. <laughs> Backstab, oh god, that dude! Oh, survive, Sir K, survive! Okay, strike. Your head is mine. Strike again. Let me cut you to size. I can't move, but I'll just face that way. And Sir Kay can hopefully finish this guy off by himself. No, he can't. Not enough. Not enough damage. Face him that way. Doesn't get backstabbed anymore in turn. That hurt. Oh, I stop it! Help. Stop dying! Okay, so if I move to here. Ooh, that's a flank, it's got like a yellow shield there. So hit him once. Hit him again. He's out of there. Oh, this is dangerous. I wonder if I can one-shot him. Might as well try it. Get him, Sir K, one-shot. Boof! Oh no, oh, come on. Really? Oh, at least he only did one damage, that's alright. Like, waste all my stuff. I might as well kill him with Ready Sir K. So you can fatality. Well, I'm still standing. Barely. You lost a couple of arms there. The battle is over. Limbs. And you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? I have decided this is my throne now. This is my throne room now. And with my band of selected knights, I will fulfill my destiny. I have been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as the protector of Camelot. I will not take this throne, but I will make my round table and take on this quest. So it's pretty much between good or evil. I think this just suits him way more because his personality is a pretty evil guy. So I'm going to go for the evil choice. It's my throne now, bitch. It's my throne. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Nice overview of the map here. Oh, it's my castle. Look at that. I'm moving up in the world already. So, ooh, they leveled up. I've got some items here as well. Got chest piece, signal of heart, double chest piece, sigil of fortitude, sigil of storms. Ooh, so there's a rarity as well. So there's blue, and these are guess common. So these must be rare. Sigil of storms, sigil for heavy armor. And this is a weapon, Bloodseeker rune, a rune for two handed weapons. Okay, so I got 400 free gold. And plus 300, whatever the hell that is. Hammer. Plus 300 hammer. Must be building materials. Continue. Vitality loss. Vitality is your hero's constitutional health. Taking damage that reduces vitality is a serious issue. It can lead to persistent injuries and eventually death. After missions, all lost HP and armor will be restored. But vitality damage needs fretment in the hospice in Camelot. I think that might have meant treatment, but I can't be sure. Okay. So, here we go, a new main mission available. Kingstone, okay. So, okay, join the call. Every hero has a loyalty chart which represents their commitment to their leader, Sir Mordred. If Sir Mordred's alignment is similar to a hero's alignment, then the hero will receive bonuses. If not, the hero will, will suffer penalties. 
If Mordred becomes the very thing the hero stands against, it will leave your surface uh, forever. Okay. So it's average, no bonuses. Skill tree. Your heroes receive two skill points each time they level up. You can spend your skill points in the masteries that enhance your existing abilities or new passive skills. You can gain additional active skills by unlocking higher skill tiers. Okay. So let's have a look. What have I got a choice of here? So we've got traits, morality neutral, that's all his HP and stuff. These are the skills over here. Let's actually see if we can equip this on him as well. Right click to equip. Bam! Cool. Ooh, I can equip the armor as well. I should probably put the armor on Sir K. Just because he doesn't have a shield like uh, Mordred does. Let's see if we can do Mordred as well. Armor. There we go. So. Let's have a look at these abilities. Mm. So these are like passive skills, I guess. Deal 10% more damage. One turn duration for bleeding effects. 20% efficiency for stun and slow effects. Gain 10% damage for every unspent action point from the previous turn. That could be really strong, actually. Damn. That could be really strong. Like, if I don't spend any action points, I can hit for like 90% next turn. So strike deals 100% damage to an adjacent enemy. And these are like... Upgrades, I guess, to upgrade the ability some more. Strong grip deal 10% damage for strike. Strike causes bleeding for one turn. Strike causes slow for one turn. Kill every, oh, sorry. Every currently running cooldown is reduced by one turn after killing with strike. Hmm. 5% damage for rage ability. What's rage? Gain 10% stackable damage for two turns after every kill. Regains one HP on kill. With the, uh, the rage ability's effect is active. That's pretty strong. Gains one AP on kill while the rage ability's effect is active so that gives me AP back. Rage ability lasts for another turn. And then we've got cleave. Uh, cleave causes bleed for one turn so that's probably actually stronger than that one because I can hit multiple targets with the bleed. Severing blow. Cleave deals 30% damage in its center. Okay 10% damage for cleave. Cleave's cooldown is reduced by one so that means it'll be spammable pretty much. Hack and slash I like that. So out of all these choices I think I'm gonna go for the this one, how many points have I got? Two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this one because I can hold back my abilities and hit really hard. I think there's some play potential on that. So I'll take that. Can I take that? How do I do it? Hold left click to learn. There we go, bam. My first ability. So that could like, really add up if I um, store up my AP. Right, so let's uh, look at Sir Mordred. So he's got strike causes bleeding for two turns, gains one AP when killing an enemy, 10% damage to strike. Minus one AP for the first attack on any targets in a turn. That's quite good. Uh, what's this? Toughness for gain one HP on hit. Ooh, like a life leech or life steal kind of ability. Plus two vitality. Increases the life leech. Ten physical resistance. Ten HP regained when killing an enemy. And we got a buff for Sigma. Or an upgrade, should I say. Sigma causes ten vulnerability. Sigma lasts for one turn. Sigma stuns one turn. The target armor is reduced by two. See what last four. Oh, plus one turns, not just one one turn. So we've got to two turns instead of one. And here we've got 25% HP from armor type items. Armor is by one, armor is by one. So it's like a kind of like a tank ability, this one. Heavy armor items reduce one less action point. 10% HP from armor type items. 20% mental resistance. Every dot effect affects the hero for one less turn, cannot produce below one turn. Vitality is increased by three. Okay, these are quite cool. Ooh, I think I might go for the stuns. I quite like CC in games, so I'm gonna take this and see how it works out. So I got two points, so I take one there. Bam. And then I can either take the HP regen for toughness, which is quite strong. And that's like, how many points is that? Oh, it's two points for that. So I might as well take Sigma last for one extra turn. So maybe I can stun for two turns. Oh, wait a second. Sigma stuns for one turn, so it doesn't actually stack. That'd just be the, the flat stigma. Right, let's see what else we can take. Mm. It's a shame I can't take that one now. But the stuns should be quite strong. Hugs armor reduced by two. Uh, that could be quite strong, to be fair, if I've got like a big party. It saves me having to kind of spam it. Strike causes bleeding for two turns. For the first attack on any targets in a turn. Oh, the choices. I'm going to go for the bleed. I want to test out the bleed, see what it's like. 
So yeah, strike cause of bleeding for two turns. Uh, anything else I need to look at here? Nope, nope, nope. So more your nemesis, some save us for others, the true hero of this nightly tale. Hero, yeah, right. So I've actually got an evil there as well. Right, so, so far, first impression of the game. Seems pretty damn cool. I really like the combat. I love the theme. So dark, gruesome, and just horrific. And also Mordred and the voice acting is really cool. Like, uh, I like the voice, uh, voice lines and shit. Anyway, that's in a part one. Like, subscribe, and catch me in part two when we see what else this game has to offer. Take care.